Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Beautiful weather today, great weather this evening, very comfortable outside, but we are looking at some changes over the next 24 hours, significant changes in the precipitation department. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. Speaking of that precipitation department, it's all quiet right now with no showers out there, and I think we'll be staying dry throughout the evening, so if you're heading out, you can leave the umbrella at home. We have uh, lots of clouds outside, nonetheless, but they aren't rain-producing clouds. Temperature right now is 74, with a wind from the south-southwest at 8. The dew point was down in the 40s this morning, now creeping back up into the 50s. In fact, the uh, humidity levels will be on the rise throughout the course of the night. Scottapay Manor and Tiverton, 71. They topped out at 79 earlier in the day. It was gorgeous with loads of sunshine. Caitlin Rice over there in Warwick, 75, saying it's mild and calm with mainly cloudy skies at the moment. Temperatures are in the 70s everywhere. 73 in Westerly, down there in Newport right now at 71, New Bedford at 74. Satellite radar picture showing lots of clouds streaming overhead throughout the day, dimming the sunshine. The clouds have gotten a little thicker over the last couple of hours, but high pressure still in control, keeping us nice and dry. Notice how the rain is staying away, but this front draped off to our south and west will be lifting northward over the next 24 hours, spreading even more clouds in uh, our direction tomorrow and eventually giving us some showers during the afternoon hours tomorrow. Nothing terribly widespread, I don't think, during the daylight hours, but after midnight tomorrow night and early on Monday morning, we could be looking at a heavy soaking rain. We could certainly use it. The, the lawns out there are looking uh, rather brown. Your future cast for this evening, nice and quiet, taking you through the overnight and into tomorrow morning. We are looking at rain-free conditions, but notice some showers beginning to develop tomorrow afternoon. Just some scattered showers, but the heavier stuff will arrive tomorrow night. So for this evening, mainly cloudy, cool and dry. Temperatures falling through the 70s and 60s. A little patchy fog perhaps after midnight with an overnight low around 65. Sunday morning becoming more humid with lots of clouds around. Temperatures climbing back through the 60s and 70s and probably only staying in the low to mid-70s for the afternoon hours tomorrow. About 74, the threat of showers. 75 on the east side of Providence, taking you on over into Cranston and Warwick. Temperatures should be topping out around 74 degrees. It'll be a little bit more humid tomorrow as well. The threat of a few showers. Not a washout for your uh, Sunday, but we are looking at uh, the threat of a couple of showers from time to time. Low to mid-70s up in uh, northern Rhode Island. Looking at 73 degrees in Pasco and Slatersville, about 74 degrees in Lincoln. And taking you on over into southeastern Massachusetts, we've got the threat of showers throughout the day and temperatures topping out in the low to mid 70s with mainly cloudy skies. Kind of a soggy stretch from tomorrow night through Monday and into Tuesday. Definitely could use the rain, but after that, we're looking at dry weather Wednesday into next Saturday. So tomorrow, most of the day looks dry, but there will be some showers around in the afternoon. And after that, the Rain buckets will be tipping over. Skies open up. We have not right. seen a chunk like that on the seven day in a long time. And we definitely you know? need it. Most of it's yeah. going to fall tomorrow night. All right. Thanks, teacher.